Well, good morning and welcome to this third Sunday of Easter, April 26, 2020. My name is Pastor Bob McFarlane, uh, Interim Minister at Zion Reformed United Church of Christ in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. I hope that you are all well and safe, hand washing as we should, and uh, doing your social distancing. Today's lectionary uh, is from the 24th chapter of Luke, and the story takes place on the evening of Easter uh, as Jesus is uh, risen from the dead. As he walks along the road with some folks who do not recognize him, talking together of the day's uh, incredible events, Jesus is invited to one of the family's homes for dinner and overnight. Today's version of a B and B. There he breaks bread and they recognize him as the Christ. In these tough days of social distancing, wearing masks to protect not only ourselves but those around us, and withholding visits sadly from uh, among our dearest friends and relatives, I hope and pray that you may not be discouraged, but um, uh, that you hold on to the hope that transcends all human understanding. For whether you are alone, or whether you have a spouse or a pet, maybe, who shares your living space, know that Jesus comes to you, sits with you, listens to you, even breaks bread with you. So what a blessing that is even in these tough times. So wherever you are or whatever your circumstances may be, let us now bow our heads and hearts in a moment of prayer, concluding together with the Lord's Prayer. Thank you, O God, for walking with us, for having conversation with us, to calm our fears, for accepting the invitation to come into our homes and for breaking the bread of life at our tables. How grateful we are, O Holy Spirit, that you gather us as one family in Christ, even as we continue to distance ourselves from one another for a time. So visit each and every home each and every member of and friend of Zion, we pray, each and every one who is in need of strength and courage for the living of these days, as together we pray that which Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Be well and stay safe.